only 37% of businesses are actually being run by the business owner. There's a chance your business is already up on Google, but you have no idea and you're not managing it. So, it, yes? Is that the same link if your business is e-commerce? Yes. Now, <clears throat> what will happen is that you go ahead and you do the search and you're gonna get a couple different results. Once you put in your, your business name and you put in your address, you're gonna get either one of these three results, okay? It's gonna say, nice job, you're on the map. And then it might have some options over here on what you can do to help update your listing so that you can get you know, better recognition online, have all, you know, be able to have a better search results. People find you, they have more information, okay? And that means that your business is online and it's being managed by someone. So either you or maybe a representative that you put in charge to manage your business, or maybe it is not you, and then there's, uh, we'll talk about how to go ahead and get your business to, so that you can uh, own it outright. Now, the other option is your business info might be incorrect on Google. So that means that your business is up online, but nobody is managing it. So they're not sure if that information is correct, and then you will click on this button to verify your business info, or your business isn't on the map at all, and then you can go ahead and start the process of just adding the business online, okay? So those are your three options, you know, your three results that are gonna come out once you do that search. <clears throat> now, once you go ahead and you click that button for either three of those options, you're going to get to the page where you sign in to your Google account to manage that page. Now what this means is anyone here who has a Gmail has a Google account. It's the same login, username, and password for all the uh, features, all the different projects that Google offers online. You use that same email and password to go ahead and log in. Now the one that you want to sign in with is the email the account that you want to go ahead and manage the business with. Because it's going to be linked to it, so anytime in the future that you want to update, you have to sign in with that email and that password. Yes? Would you be able to send us those slides? Oh, uh, yeah, we might be able to go ahead and do something like that and get it over to you. Thank you. So that's not a problem. I believe everybody here is registered, so Manny has your email information. Mm -hmm. Okay, no, I'll send it to you. If it's okay with you, I'll send it to everybody. Okay. Whoever, if you're not registered, if you didn't register before coming here, give us your business card. And we'll add you to the list. And I'll send it to everybody. Perfect. <laughs> so now, it's, it's better to have a dedicated account for the business uh, and separate it from the personal. You don't. You don't really have to, because you can. If you're worried about, let's like, say, I'm going to have somebody else go into the account for me as well. You can set up them up as a manager, and we'll show you how to do that, where they can still log in through their account into your business, and they don't get any of your personal information. So it can be one that you make specifically for the business. It can be your personal email account that you just use it to log in to get into the business. Just either or. And like I said, if it's something that other people are going to be sharing the information, managing the business, you can set it up so that they can log in through their email account and still have access to your location. Yes? <laughs> if you have a business email, but it's running under the Google platform, can you use that? Yes. Yeah, you just sign in the same way that you would sign in. Um, and I believe you're talking about using like um, Google uh, apps for work, where you have 